children, how are you? So today we are meeting you with a new story. Do you know the name of today's story? No. It is how the rainbow got its colors. Do you know what the rainbow is? Yes. Where do you see the rainbow? When it's sunny and it's raining. That's right. And where is it? In the sky. Yes, so rainbow is a huge bow like this and it has different different colors. We see the rainbow in the sky when it's a little sunny and it's a little rain. Have you seen it? Yes. Of course you have seen it. Right, so today we are going to learn how the rainbow got its colors. Are you ready for the story? Yes. All right. So, this story starts with a little girl. Her name was Emma. Nice right? name. Yeah. So, this little girl Emma loved to paint. She liked to draw pictures and color them beautifully. Her parents brought her different types of colors. Watercolors, pastels, uh, paint all kinds of colors and with all the colors she drew pictures and she colored them so beautifully her pictures was pictures were so colorful and uh, looked so beautiful everybody who saw her pictures were amazed that a little girl like emma could draw i also like to draw really Okay, so I think you're like Emma. However, there was a small quality of Emma that was not that good. Now, Emma was a girl who never arranged her stuff. When she took her pastels to draw, she drew everything and then just threw the pastels away. She never collected them, put them back in the box and keep it at the correct place. She never did that. That's bad. I know that is why I said you might be uh, you might be good at drawing just like Emma and you might like drawing like Emma. However, are you like Emma when it comes to arranging? No. No, you're a good girl, right? Yes. Yes, my little girls and boys are also very good. I know that. You all arrange your stuff. But Emma was not like that. So her parents kept telling her, Emma, please don't waste your chalk, don't waste your pastel, don't waste your paint. But she never listened. She just totally forgot. That is what happened. She didn't do it intentionally. So this particular day that we are talking about, that our story is happening, Emma was in the garden with her newest box of pastels. This is Dizzily's pastel box. We learn about some of the colors later on. So she had a pastel box like that and she started drawing. She drew beautiful butterflies and flowers and trees and the sky colored in blue. So she drew all that and while she was at it, little drops of rain started to fall. It was dripping. And after some time it started raining. <gasps> Emma was scared. Oh my goodness, it's raining. I have to run to my house. Ah! And she ran to her house. She forgot something. What did she forget? Her paint box. Yes, and? She didn't arrange it. Yeah, she didn't arrange it. She didn't even pick it up. She didn't even carry her art to the house. It was all getting wet in the rain. Now the colors came to life and they were really sad. The yellow told the orange chalk, Oh, I'm dripping wet. And the orange chalk said, Oh, I might get a cold. And all the colors started crying. Oh no, we're getting wet. Someone help us. We might become sick. And you know who heard their cry? No. A lovely fairy. The rain fairies who were bringing rain to the world. 
world. They heard the cry of these colors. The rain fairies came and asked them, Why you cry? And then they complained. They said, We belong to a little girl named Emma. She uses us to draw and color and she never, never thinks about us afterwards. We are always like this. We are left in different, different places. And now look at us. We are all drenched. And they were crying and crying. The little rain fairies felt really sorry for these colors. And do you know what they did? No. Can you give it, give it a guess? Um, they took the chalk. Yes. And colored the rainbow. There were no rainbows to color. You know what they did? No. They took the chalk and gave the chalk the power to fly and throw them up to the sky. The colors who always love staying together, they flew high up to the sky together and that made the colorful rainbow. The fairies were amazed. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. It has different, different colors. It was a wonderful sight. The next day, Emma came out of the house and she went. She saw her pastel box in the garden, but there were no colors. She was wondering where have the colors gone? And then she happened to lift her eyes up to the sky and she saw this beautiful colorful rainbow. She never guessed that the rainbow was made of her own colors. But you know what she did? Hmm. She ran to the house and brought another pastel box to draw the rainbow. <laughs> so children, did you enjoy the story? Yeah, could she draw the rainbow? I think she did. Now that is up to you to imagine what she did afterwards. Right, so I'm very happy that the colors got a very happy ending. They must have suffered a lot. Okay children, so I told you that the rainbow was made of colors and there are seven colors in the rainbow. Dizzily, would you care to tell us what the colors are? Yes. Violet. Yes. Indigo. Blue. And green. Yellow. Orange. And red. Right. So those are the seven colors of the rainbow. Violet, indigo, blue and green together with yellow. Orange and red. So this is how the rainbow got its colors. I hope you enjoyed the story today. We'll meet you next time with another wonderful